Principles of Giving, Session 1. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 3 through 4. When you give to the poor, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving will be in secret, and your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. From this and other scripture, we can learn principles to guide us in God-honoring giving. First of all, genuine heart giving is an investment with God. Give and it will be given to you. They will pour into your lap a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. For by your standard of measure, it will be measured to you in return. Found in Luke chapter 6 verse 38 and also 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6. Second, biblical giving should be sacrificial. We don't determine this by the amount, but by the proportion. Consider the widow and Jesus' observation. A poor widow came and put into two small copper coins, which amount to a cent. Calling his disciples to him, he said to them, Truly I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the contributors to the treasury, for they all put in out of their surplus, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she owned. And that's found in Mark chapter 12, verse 42 through 44. Third, Christians of all income levels should give. If you don't give when you have little, you won't necessarily give when you're prosperous. You might give a larger amount, but not a greater proportion. Jesus' parable of the unrighteous steward teaches, He who is faithful in a very little thing is faithful also in much. And he who is unrighteous in a very little thing is unrighteous also in much. Found in Luke chapter 16 verse 10. God is concerned not with how much you have to give, but with how much love is behind the gift. Now I want you to ask yourself, think of personal examples from your own life where this faithful in small things principle has proven itself true. What have you promised you do if only you had a little more? What has usually happened when the more became reality? Amen. God bless you. Until next time.